Hey everyone, I'm Mike and thanks for checking out the channel. You know, I just released a song called Mountains the other day and uh, I had put that I had produced the song in uh, Suno, but I had written the music, written the melody, written the lyrics and I put it in there and had it remix it to make it a more fuller sounding song with a better vocalist and better backing vocals, but it still followed my melody. And I said I would do a follow-up video to show you how I do that exactly in Suno. And uh, I think it's a great tool for songwriters who write all the stuff, the music, the melody, the lyrics. If they don't have the money to be producing stuff or doing like a full band, it's kind of a nice way to get a whole full version of your song out without stealing anybody else's melody. My issue with Suno always has been that... Uh, when you use it, if you're even if you're a lyricist and you write all the lyrics and you put it in there, that uh, it's still 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 it's stealing the melody from someone, and it's uh it learned from a bunch of artists just on Spotify and other things YouTube, and then it builds that, and then it builds a melody. So things that you put with your lyrics can sound familiar to other songs because it's taking from other artists. So what I wanted to do was use it that I could still use my music, my melody, my vocal parts, my lyrics. And uh, so it was just making a more compressed, more produced version of my song. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So we're going to play my intro real quick, and then we're going to come back and we're going to check this out. Mike's musical rehab. All right, so here we go. We got Suno open, and I am using Suno version 5. Now, I know there's free versions of this, and what I'm going to say is if you go to the pro version, which is like it's like $8 a month if you pay for the year, or it's like 10 or 11 if you pay month where you might want to cancel, there is a more expensive like $18 to $30 one a month that lets you use the studio and have more control of mixing, mastering, and stuff like that. But I also have all my studio stuff on here so I can mix and master. When I write songs, some of the ballads I do, things like this, I think this is a really useful tool. When I do more rock metal stuff, I like to record it all myself, use singers, use just kind of to get that whole vibe in of what I'm doing. So uh, I'm going to show you how it exactly works. So... If you come to this page over here, you'll see there's this whole thing that has it in, and you have all your uh, songs, your workspace, and stuff like that. And I've already rendered a couple because I don't want to take the time to go through rendering it all. But I could take this out, and I will pull my my version of the song and put it in there. So this is what my version of the original song that I did. I did this in 2021 with a guy named Tom Wardle. He was a singer. I wrote the piano part, the guitar, and... Uh, the vocals and the melody, and he sang it, and I think he did a good job. So this is the original. My life, I seem to find when I gave my heart, I just wasted time. Then one day.
All right, so that's the demo. I, I think Tom did an excellent job on that. So uh, let's listen to some of what these came up with. Let's see here. In my life I seem to find When I gave my heart I just wasted time So you could see right there that it did uh it did it close to the original, changed up a little bit of how he's singing it, the uh, kind of way the vocals go and stuff like that. Did its own thing and we got multiple versions. So you can come up with like this and here. You get you done the chorus. When you hold my hand, it's it comes in a little different, but So I'll show you one that's cool where I did more of like a, a sparse like piano like version that's kind of more closer to what my original is. So hold on here. In my life, I seem to find. I just wasted time Then one day I love how it follows my string section part right there Stood a beautiful angel Right before my So that's kind of what you could get with it. I think it actually does a pretty cool job of giving you different versions of your song while still using your melody, your vocals, your lyrics, your music. And, uh, you know, the one changed up a little bit from what I did, so I wouldn't use that. I like to keep it as close to the original as possible, but just tighten it up a little bit, have a better sounding, more professional sound with uh, 
backing vocals and stuff like that. So I think this Suno can be a really useful tool for songwriters who don't have a full band to do everything. You know, you could record a song with your guitar and your vocals and uh, put that in there, get a melody and get all the band backing tracks put in there and stuff like that. So I think that way, if you're not taking a melody from someone else, it's using your melody, your vocals, your lyrics, your music. I think it's a pretty openly fair thing that it's just like sending it to a producer to have them produce the track and uh, do that. The concern is when you upload it there now, is Suno stealing from my music using what I uploaded and taking that and using it as a melody for someone else, even though it's a melody I wrote. So it's a way for me to kind of get a more produced track that I could send to someone if they were looking to sell a song. And uh, I think it's a great tool for that. And uh, I don't agree with the people just typing in a command saying, write me a gospel song and they're putting 20 songs out or if they're using another artist's name to sound like Jelly Roll and put a song out, I think that's wrong. But, uh, I think it can be a useful tool. I think it can be something that people can uh, can bring more life to their songs and to help songwriters be as creative as possible. So I think it has its good and bad values. I think right now there's a lot more of the bad because of people like plagiarizing other artists and stuff like that. But it's just something that can be useful and still keep the song as your own. And uh, I think... When I release songs now, when I do it, if I record the whole song and do everything, get a vocalist in and do stuff, I release it under my band name, MG73. When I release songs that I had Suno produce for me, I release it as a music, lyrics, and melody written by me. So it's kind of saying that, hey, you know, someone recorded this. I did the music, melody, and lyrics. So, And I put that I had Suno V5 produce it because I don't think you should try to hide that from people. I think it's a fair way to show people that, hey, you know what? This was still my song, as you could hear the original that I had done, still matches what the new version is. It just sounds like a more clean, more polished, more professional version. So, as always, if you're lifting up, if you're climbing up, lift someone up with you, pull them up, and that music makes life better. You guys have an amazing, amazing, amazing night. Bye.